All right, so let's get started. So just close your eyes. You can be sitting, laying down, whatever is comfortable. Just bring your consciousness inside your body. Let your mind relax. And draw your consciousness inward. And just imagine you're pulling your consciousness or point of focus down to your heart center, as if you're positioning yourself in your heart. As this occurs, just let the energy in the heart center expand. Let the light in the heart expand. With each pulse of the heart, with each movement and breath, just see the light getting brighter and brighter. And the energy begins to lift through the tissues in your body to the surface of your body. And it forms a space of energy around your body a beautiful egg filled with the light. And you'll feel as the energy expands the connection to the earth below. Just become aware of your connection to the earth. If you're sitting, you can feel your feet on the earth, feel your bum. Or if you're lying down, just be aware of your connection to the earth. And as we draw our consciousness to this connection, we become aware of the energetic relationship between our body and the earth. And you may feel the flow of energy as if there's an energy moving in from the earth or from nature into your body. And just pause here and let this energy be with you. Let it flow into your body or touch your body, bringing healing or any kind of energetic balance that would support you in this moment. Become aware through the upper energy centers, your connection to the spirit, to your higher self, your soul. Other guides and angels or beings of light, the creator, your higher self. Become aware of your expression as part of a continuum of light and consciousness. And through this, there's a channel that forms like a column of light extending far above your body and deep into the earth. And there's an energy that begins to flow from above downward into your body. And you can feel as this energy moves into your system, there's a shift or an adjustment in your energy or vibration. You can feel this gentle upward movement of the vibration in your body. As if it's increasing in vibration or energy. And we just pause for a moment, allowing the energy to work with us in this way, preparing us for the process. And as the energy or the vibration in your system continues to rise, there's a sensation as if we're beginning to float. You begin to float above your body your mind's eye, you can just imagine you're lifting upward. You're still connected to your physical body, but in consciousness and energy, you're raising. And you float upwards, upwards. And you find yourself in an energy space, like a quantum room. And we're all together in this space, sitting in a huge circle of energy. We can imagine that we each take our place in a chair made of energy in this space. And we're all facing inward in a circle. And as we join and take our positions in this way, as we merge in energy and consciousness, there's an acceleration of energy that takes place. 
And there's a beautiful torus of energy that forms spinning around the circle, like a big donut shaped structure of energy spinning around the circle and pulsing with light and energy. And again, just allow yourself to pause in this space, in this moment, and let yourself receive an energy or in consciousness, everything which serves your highest good, your highest well-being in this moment. And we'll pause for a moment, noticing little adjustments in our energy field taking place as the energy continues to rise in vibration. And above the group, out of the ethers, there's a pyramid begins to take form. And it's a four-sided pyramid with a square base made of golden light. And as it takes shape, it begins to become very luminescent, glowing in a golden white light, a translucent light like a shell. And at the apex of the pyramid, there's a really brilliant energy, like a star. And as the energy is pulsing and shining, it's sending waves of light down over the sides of the pyramid. And the pyramid comes to life with this energy. It's as if it's singing in vibration and energy. And the energy in the structure begins to build as if there's a ball of light forming inside the pyramid from the energetic movement. And from the apex of the pyramid, there's a ray of light that extends upward. We begin to sense a stream of light as if there's a column building at the apex and it's streaming light down into the pyramid which further activates or catalyzes the pyramid. And the light in the pyramid becomes really brilliant in light, like a quantum scintillating ball of light, a beautiful white silvery pulsing ball of light with streams of color embedded within it as it's moving and dancing. And as the energy is prepared in this way, this energy in the pyramid begins to move downward as if it's moving down a shaft to the center of the circle and it's hovering in space in the middle of the group. It presents itself as this quantum field of light rotating in all directions and sending out streams of light different colors, different vibrations. And it's pulsing in a gentle way. And as the light pulses, it's sending out waves of energy, vibration outward towards the circle in which we are sitting. And we begin to receive these little waves of energy. And you'll feel as the energy touches and moves through your body, And again, we just allow ourselves to undergo this experience, this sense of recalibration that takes place. And you'll feel the energy in your system becoming more vibratory. You may notice a little vibration, movements of energy in your system. And as the energy is moving through your body, you become aware of your chakra system and you can see these points of energy in your energy field begin to glow with light, like a fractal rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white. And 
and each chakra begins to pulse in your energy body. A gentle pulsating light, sending vibrations outward into your energy field while the energy from the center pulsing ball continues to stream through your field. And the energy in your energy system is being catalyzed in both directions at the same moment. And you can feel the intensity of vibration in your system really begins to accelerate. And within the core of your body, you become aware of a column of energy. It's a little bit different than the chakra axis. It's a column of energy that extends through your body, passing through the heart center, but it moves upward into the space above your body and below you into the earth. And it forms a shaft or a core column of energy. And at the top of your energy field, the egg of energy around your body, as this core axis moves through this space, we become aware of an energy point about two feet above your physical body. And we just draw our attention to this area for a moment, just bringing our point of consciousness to this energy space. And we can see here convergence of energies, like a little chakra point or portal or node of energy. And it's full of a glowing golden light. And the light here begins to expand as if the energy within our system is creating a pulsation and the light begins to pulse and glow brighter and brighter. And around the space, a geometry forms in the shape of an octahedron. It's a pointed double pyramid. And the energy just forms around this chakra point, the soul star chakra. And as this forms, it creates a sense of a container or a space holding the soul star chakra in this energy configuration. And it's connected through a chain or a cord of light that extends upward through a strand of energy that is really a helix of energy. And a stream of light begins to move down through this cord or axis like it's being channeled down a chain or a helix to the top of the octahedron, which is holding the soul star in this configuration. And the whole geometry begins to fill with light and pulse with light. And we just pause here for a moment, just allowing these energetic experiences to take place. And as the energy in the octahedron is being activated this way, a second octahedron is formed like a double. And this octahedron begins to expand, moving downward, beginning to fill the space around your entire body and energy structure. 
So there's a small octahedron at the top holding the soul star chakra and a large pyramid, double pyramid or octahedron of energy around your body. And they both merge at the same upper point. And as the small octahedron vibrates, it's sending pulsations of energy into the larger octahedron around your body. And you may feel this energy forming around your body. And as you bring your attention to the soul star point, and we look upward through the helix of energy or the shaft of energy moving above. It's as if it moves upward and we can see at the top of the column, there's a circle of light, pulsing golden ring of light. And within it, there's another geometry, like a star of David tetrahedron. And it too is made of a golden light pulsing and as this occurs, it's sending waves of energy down the axis of the cord. And as this energy moves down to your soul star, it's contained within the octahedron at the soul star level. And the energy is pulsing. This octahedron becomes very active with this movement of energy. As if it's vibrating and singing, and it begins to radiate a brilliant iridescent light made of a golden white blend and sending streams of color at the same time outwards in a radiation of light. And this is affecting the big octahedron around your body, which too begins to fill with light and energy. And there's a resonance between all of these structures as if they're singing to your energy field at the same time. And we're going to pause here just for a moment, allowing an energetic calibration to occur. In silence for a moment, just allowing the energy to to do what it knows to do. And just breathe into your bodies. The energy is very vibratory, very full of vibration can make the body feel a little bit tense or constricted. Just breathe into your physical body and let the energy in your body relax. Relax as deeply as you can. here to do for a moment just to just to be let the energy just move through its own process and just keep breathing into your body relax as deeply as you can just breathe and let go And the stream or the flow of energy begins to settle. But the octahedrons are full of light and we just become aware of this vibration in this field. And we bring our attention back to the pyramid above the group. And forming over the pyramid, there's a ball of light, a very luminescent white, silvery, blue light, familiar light. And it grows in size. It expands in light or intensity 
and it begins to move down over the pyramid, cascading over the four sides of the pyramid, moving through the space and through us in our meditation and forming a ring around us. As we sit, each one of us in the octahedral shape of energy and light, this ring forms behind us. And as the light settles in this configuration, we can see as if stepping out of the ring of light, a light being. And there's a light being standing behind each person in the meditation. And as they take this position in the meditation with us, we can feel the support, like there's a solidity or a structure that they bring to the meditation, helping us hold the vibration of the experience. They're simply forming a ring as if to assist us in a vibratory way to hold the energy that we are experiencing in the meditation. Think of it as a vibrational support or assistance, if you will. And in this space, it becomes a little easier to hold the intensity of the vibration that we were experiencing. Just breathe into your body. And you'll find that you become comfortable in the vibration of the vibratory feel. Like when you put your hand in a glass of warm water and you become accustomed to the, the energy of the temperature or becoming acclimatized to the energy in the space. And it's as if it becomes just a little easier, a little more familiar to be in the vibration. Breathe into your body and again relax. Take breath in and relax. The sense of vibration or the intensity of the vibration, although it hasn't changed, it feels more familiar or we have acclimatized to the vibration. And in the ring of beings behind us, as if in a unified voice, they prepare to bring us a message, a channeled understanding of the essence of the experience. In the form of the Syrian Luwite Collective. Greetings, dear ones. We join you this evening in proximity of energy as we stand in admiration and support of your ever evolving consciousness. You see, dear ones, as you step forward on the path of ascension, there is a continuous stream of adjustments and energetic expansions that are part of the journey forward. With any beautiful creation, there is a lot of planning and intention. 
a stream of consciousness and a support of universal forces that flow into the experience to give rise to creative evolutionary change. You are becoming a container of expanded consciousness. You are learning to become aware of the multidimensionality, not only of your human life, but universal nature. For you see, dear ones, you are part of a greater mosaic of creation that is multidimensional in its nature and multifaceted in its expression. As you evolve at this threshold of time, you are beginning to undergo a metamorphosis of crystalline nature. You are beginning to activate new levels or new dimensions of energetic experience within the framework of your being. This is giving rise to a greater multidimensional awareness. You can perceive this easily in the sense of time, whereas you may have recollection or awareness of lifetimes lived in other frames of the time-space continuum. Yet you are simultaneously connected and part of these experiences while you are present in physical form, in this body, with this name, in this incarnation. We share this in this way to help you understand the nature of your consciousness expansion. For you are anchored in this moment of time and space, but you are aware of an expanded consciousness experience and potential. The greater multifaceted expression of your soul. But you see, dear ones, that is just the beginning. For you are not only part of a continuum of soul expression, you are part of a divine radiation of universal life. You are connected to the fabric of all that is, and you are part of that universal design. In your current form, you are embedded in a field of energy and consciousness, that of the earth. And in this field of energy and consciousness, you are seated as a facet of a multidimensional universal experience. As you awaken in this juncture of the ascension process, you are becoming aware of the fact that you are separate from nothing, you are part of everything, all that is. These are strange words at first, but they help you understand the nature of reality. For just as a fish in the ocean may not be aware of the water that is its environment, humanity for the moment has lost awareness of its connection with the invisible multidimensional realms of energy and consciousness in which it exists. This is not true for everyone, and it is changing quickly. For humanity is undergoing an awakening process, and it is beginning to understand both the physics and the spiritual nature of which we speak. Through quantum expression and spiritual parable, these worlds begin to fuse. 
where you understand that you are a spiritual being incarnate at a precise time for a precise purpose. And this purpose is becoming more clear. The very epicenter of your purpose at this time is to undergo the ascension process. And it is for this purpose that we gather, that we commune in energy and consciousness, and we participate as we remind you of the greater energetic nature of your reality. It is the beginning, but it is a sequential process that you will understand one step at a time. At this moment, we are working closely with you as you undergo an expansion in the soul star chakra. These are fanciful words and difficult to understand. But in simple terms, you can think of it as a sacred geometrical expansion. The awareness of consciousness on both sides of this sacred portal are becoming more aware in your conscious mind. Humanity is beginning to develop the faculty to receive energy from what you would perceive as a spiritual or quantum dimension and to use this energy with consciousness, integrity, love, and compassion to enhance the vibratory space in which humanity itself dwells. Eventually, with time, nurturing, and patience, it will create a vibrational shift. This may seem slow. When you look at it from the physical dimension of time, but it is happening at an expedited rate and will be upon you in no time as you begin to witness the nature of this metaphoric change. You see, everything that exists in the foreign world first exists in energy and consciousness, and it manifests only through the mind of the creator field. So much of what you know to be your reality can be expressed as a dream in the mind of the creator, but it is a playground in which you as a human being begin to experience your power of creative potential. The time is at hand for a major transformation of the human experience. And in ways that seem magical and out of proportion or possibility, you will begin to see evidence of the energetic changes that are taking place. But just like we discussed in our teaching this evening, the energetic changes can be thought of as seeds of potential. And with a little nurturing, a little love, and a little support, they will flourish in this field of potential and manifest in magical ways to bring healing, peace, and a transcendent consciousness to that which is known at this moment in time. We share with you these ideas to better understand the nature of the soul star chakra expansion. You need not worry about the 
physics or nature of the expansion, for in genuine terms it cannot be comprehended in a linear process. But as you expand yourself into the nature of the experience, it will become self-evident. And you will understand from your own experience the nature of the mercy at hand. We celebrate with you in these precious moments in our transmission journey. We celebrate the courage, the wisdom, the compassion, the kindness you manifest in your daily lives in so many ways. Be strong of heart, be brave of spirit, for you have everything within you you need for the journey ahead. Do not underestimate your potential, your power, or your capacity to love, for they are tools which you will use with abundance as we move forward in time. And as we prepare to take leave in this moment, we remind you, as we do each and every time we are together, that through the light of the eternal sun together with you we are one Gently, the ring of energy behind us begins to coalesce. And it begins to rise over the group, over the pyramid, forming a collected sphere of light at the top of the pyramid. It begins to ascend and disappear into space as it moves above the vibration of this space. And we pause for a moment in collective energy simply to absorb the profundity of the message, the words, the teaching, and the love. Just breathe it into your body as if you are absorbing the essence of the message, the vibration of the moment. And as you breathe into your body, the large octahedral field around your body begins to move upward or shrink in on itself, merging with the smaller pyramid around the top of your energy field. And this smaller pyramid also begins to dissolve into the space around it. Just allowing the energy that has formed in the soul star chakra to move downward into your energy field and around your energy field. And we just pause for a moment, allowing this process to unfold.
And there's a beautiful energy that flows down through the core axis of energy in your body and all the way around the outer shell of your energy, merging at a point of energy below your energy system, the Earth Star Chakra. And this energy center will become important in the next transmission. And as we bring our attention forward to the center of the circle, we can see this beautiful quantum ball of light. And this light contracts inward as if it's drawing in on a pulsation and then it begins to expand, moving in all directions outward. And like a wind or a breeze moving through your body, you feel the vibration as it moves through your energy system. And the pyramid of light above the group begins to spin gently and dissolve into the space around it. And we find ourselves simply sitting together in a ring encased in a streaming torus of light. And we each bring our point of consciousness into our energy body into our own heart and we begin to feel the sensation as if we're drifting back down into our physical body and just allow yourself to move downward as if you're merging with your physical body bringing with you the energy the consciousness of this experience with you into your physical form We just pause for a moment, allowing a gentle integration to take place. When you feel your consciousness merging with your body, blending with your body, bringing with it all the vibration, the energy, the wisdom back into your physical body. And at this point, you may wish to stay in a meditation as we close the group meditation. If you want to meditate and stay in the energy, feel free to do so. And if you're ready to come back into the space, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and gently awaken in the space. And we'll stay quietly in the background and wish everyone a beautiful, healthy, joy-filled holiday season. And we look forward to joining together in 2024 for our first transmission of the new year. Blessings to all. Namaste.